What's up everybody? Welcome to Ravenel Ford. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 2018 Ford F-150 diesel. Woo! Boy! Finally we're getting a Power Stroke diesel under the hood of an F-150 truck. This is an exciting time folks, so stay with us over the next few minutes as we take an in-depth review of the Ford F-150. Let's get started. So what is it about a diesel truck that Americans seem to want? Is it the longevity of the engine and how long you could drive and how many miles you could put on the motor of a diesel? Maybe. Is it the fuel economy that makes the diesel engine more popular? Yeah. Maybe. I don't really know. Really, 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 at the end of the day, it comes down to what you like. But I'll tell you one thing, Americans ask for a diesel truck in a 1500 series, and Americans usually get what they want. So really what it comes down to with this truck is the motor. That's right. The features, the look, the interior, the tech, everything about it is pretty much the same as a gas engine Lariat. We did a review just about two weeks ago of the diesel King Ranch. What an absolutely beautiful truck. And it's nice to see that you can get some of your higher trim level F-150s with the diesel motor. Now an XLT is not going to be necessarily available with a diesel engine right now. So again, diesels are only available in Lariat, Platinum, King Ranch, things like that. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the headlights on this truck because they are LED. So this is 2000, 2018. There will not be a difference from this to a 2019, so you know. But I'll go ahead and tell you that right now. The headlights look great. You got daytime LED running lights, daytime LED uh, lights all together. I mean, it's got a lot of LED going on here. Even your blinkers there are LED. Your fog lights down here are LED. It's all LED, okay? So you know it. You got it. It looks good. It's brighter. The longevity is there with the engine. The longevity is there with LED lights. So that's always a plus. Beautiful Ford logo in the front. Beautiful grill. I like how it's kind of squared off, as you can see right there. Very nice. I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking. This is a beautiful truck. We got the camera off the tripod, so we're kind of rolling through right now, checking out all the little things that we see with our eyes. When I do a review on a new vehicle or even a used vehicle, I'm showing you what I see with my eyes, just like you would if you were at the car lot today looking at the truck for yourself. Except for, hey, you don't have a sales guy with you. I'm a sales guy, so I guess you do got one with you. <laughs> Either way. So the alloy wheels look pretty good, right? You got the chrome, very clean. You can't go wrong with a six spoke. You got a hand cook tire. Those are the Dino Pro HTs. So nice looking tire there. You may be wondering, Chad, what size are the rims? Well, they're 18 inch. You got a 265, 60 series wrapped onto an 18. So pretty decent sized wheel there. Running boards down the side, and then what you have that's new is that right there, that Power Stroke Turbo Diesel logo. The only thing that logo is missing is a 6.7, okay? So again, you don't have the 6.7 liter, but it is Power Stroke. You got the Lariat badge, you got the chrome mirror, more LED lights there. We'll get to the price and all that stuff a little bit later. It is crew cab, full four-door. You may be wondering what it looks like in here. Well, there you go. You got your easy fuel cap there. You don't have to touch it. And then you got your ab blue that goes here. Back window opens and closes. You got two lights up top there. It will shine down into here. Your brake light. We don't do any dealer add-ons, so you won't see any, uh, you know, any kind of bed liners or anything like that unless it was installed from the manufacturer. But one thing I will show you in just a minute is you got LED lights in the back of that truck along with LED tail lights, backup sensors, backup cameras, tow packages, an LED light right here. Also on your keyless key fob, your keyless remote fob, you got a power tailgate feature so you can hit a button, drop that right down. And then you got plenty of space back here. And again, you can hit this button right there and cut those LEDs on cuts those on up top and cuts that one on right there. So not too bad. Hit it again, it shuts it all down. 
The only thing that I find interesting right now about this truck that it doesn't have compared to some of the other um, higher end level Ford F-Series trucks is it doesn't have the the step system right here. I, I, that's the first time I noticed that. Hmm, that's interesting. That's usually on them. Maybe it's just something that doesn't come equipped with a Lariat truck. So if you want to get in the back of the Ford F-150 truck on this one, you're just going to have to grab a hold of here, put your foot there, and just step one in the back. Right? I don't see any little side steps or anything like that. Now some trucks I've seen, they'll have a little kickstand here, and you kick it, and a little step will come out right there. And that's so you can get to the back of the toolbox. So overall, the truck's looking good, right? It's an F-150, it's a Lariat, and it's a 1500 series. Again, the only difference is the motor. And we'll pop the hood here in just a minute. But let's take a look at our window sticker. First off, so you wonder what size engine that is. It's a 3.0 liter V6 turbo diesel, 10 speed automatic transmission. Gets 30 miles to the highway on fuel economy, 30 MPG on the highway, 22 city for an average combined of 25 mile per gallon. That's pretty good. It says you spend $1,250 annual fuel costs, more in fuel costs over five years or something like that, okay? So again, you're gonna spend 1250 more in fuel cost over five years, but annual fuel costs around $1,600. Now, fuel economy and greenhouse gas rating, you're getting a, uh, on CO2, you're getting four out of 10, MPG, five out of 10, and then smog rating is one out of 10. That's interesting, you're only getting one. Again, it's diesel, folks, remember that. 41 years, Ford F-Series, America's best selling trucks. It's got a total MSRP of 57,495. So remember that, 57,495. Let's go to the other side and take a look at the price. So there's that number again, 57,495 is manufacturer suggested retail. Ravno Ford discount already, 3860. 98 over invoice is 53,635. There's no rebate going on right now on these diesels, so that's that. Easy price of 53635 So already on a diesel truck that just came in stock a few weeks ago, already got a 3860 discount. We're already selling it for 98 over invoice because we sell everything for 98 over invoice if it's new. There's also no dealer admin fees, no dog fees, no processing fees, no dealer add-ons, none of that stuff on this vehicle. And that's Ravenel Ford's easy pricing setup, okay? It really is easy. Let's top into the inside, but before we do, we're gonna take a look at the motor. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna open the door, and we're gonna open up the motor, the uh, pop the hood. You're gonna grab here and do that. Let's go take a look under the hood of the 3.0 liter Power Stroke diesel engine. It is turbo like we said earlier. So your, uh, your, your hood latch is under on the bottom of it, okay? So just remember that and uh, not too easy to do with just one hand, but right there. All right, man up, do a little, little Hulk, you know, a little Avengers, you know, a little Thor going on. And uh, there's your 3.0 liter diesel engine right under the hood. Nice big battery, of course. There's your air intake, air filter. That's where your valve covers would be. Air's coming into here, okay. That cool air is rolling in. We got some cool air going on outside right now. This is the first time I've ever seen one of these things going on under the hood of a Ford. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but if you know in the comments section, please let me know. Pretty cool, huh? Is that a blow-off valve? <laughs> I don't think so for all y'all Subaru uh, turbo fanatics. You do got your little mat up under there to keep it a little quieter, okay? Because, you know, not everybody wants to hear that diesel engine. But it is a little bit quieter than some diesel motors. I'll tell you one thing. I did a review on the Dodge Ram Laramie diesel 2500 series, and I had to put earplugs in. That was the loudest diesel motor I've ever heard. I thought it was an 18-wheeler Mack truck I was reviewing. Believe what I'm saying, folks. All right, so you've seen the outside. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. This is where it gets fancy. I hope you're ready. Well, we got synthetic wood trim, leather, soft touch that's not hard plastic that's hard plastic that is not memory seats power door locks power windows you got one touch settings on every single window one click up for one click down okay on every single window 
Cubby hole spots down there, cubby hole here. That's where you're gonna open the door at. You got component sets, you got your mids down here, you got your highs in the A pillars over there, you got your handles in the A pillars on both sides, and on the B pillars in the middle and the back. You have 10-way power seats on driver's side. That includes lumbar support. Leather, perforated with the holes, let your breathing stay cool because you have cooled and heated seats. Life just made a major upgrade in your life if you never had cooled or heated seats before. Leather wrapped steering wheel, lots of buttons and controls on the steering wheel. You got cruise control, you got multi information display screen controls, you have volume and audio controls, voice command and Bluetooth, and all that good stuff to control that sync system that Ford provides you with. If you're wondering what kind of stereo system you got, you have a B&O. What's B&O stand for? Bang and Olsen, fellas and ladies. Bang and Olsen. It's good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and hop in on the inside. Ooh-wee, look at that big old roof up there. You won't catch a roof like that in a Chevrolet. Believe me. Now that we're sitting in our seat here, I'm gonna point out a few things on our steering wheel. This steering wheel does have tilt and telescoping, okay? What does that mean? Well, you got some electronic buttons here. Watch this. All right, that's already up, but there's down, in, already in, out, pushing it out. So depending on how you need that steering wheel set up, whether you're tall or short or where you want it moving up out of your way when you're going to get out, you can do that. You also got pedal assist or pedal, nah, pedal adjustments and power. You can hit these buttons here and those pedals will come out or in. Again, that is to accommodate people that are short or tall. You know, if you're a little bit short, maybe you're four foot tall, you might need those pedals to come forward so you can get your little toes on there and do what you need to do. You have buttons right here also for the lights that are under those mirrors. You got some lighting under those mirrors right there, if you didn't know that or not, that will light up this ground at nighttime. Again, that's Ford taking things to a whole nother level, those fine details that they pay attention to. All right, now we're sitting in a very comfortable seat. I'm going to go ahead and close my door and and kind of denting out all that loudness out there. You can hear that door close just now, very solid. It was almost like Thor was standing out there and just shut the door, right? Just a nice, big, strong man. Man, wouldn't that be nice to have around the house, ladies? A nice, big, strong Thor at your house? Oh, yeah, that would be great, wouldn't it? I think I'd like to have a Thor around the house, too, sometimes, getting to pick up some things and move, move things around for me. But anyways, maybe I just need to work out more, right? All right, so let's get these fans kind of turned down a little bit. As you can see, it displays the fan speeds right there. I'll tell you, it will blow you away like a, tor a Sharknado. That's right, a Sharknado coming out of there. And uh, it will really, look at this. Seven is max, and it is blowing really hard. Okay, let's go down to three, and life will get a little bit quieter. Um, you got audio controls here, tune and volume and presets. You get six presets. Climate here, dual climate, heated cooled seats right there, all these different directions. You can have it blowing on your legs down there. That's why I got my Crocs on today, get a little air on those toes. You got a start stop engine button. There's no more putting a key in the ignition like a Chevrolet and doing this number here. Okay, no more of that. It's this right here. That's more futuristic, folks. We're, we're in the digital world now, just remember that. And those headlights on the front of that car, at nighttime, they look digital. It's like they're taking digital and bringing it right to your driveway, right on top of your car, okay? So anyways, I hope you're laughing a little bit while we're talking. We're having a good time. You could throw quarters right there. If the currency of quarters ever goes away, well, then I don't know what you're going to put there. But quarters do go there. Um, trailer backup right here. You know what I'm saying? You got two USB ports there. And you got right down here, you got more storage space. Bottle holders, cup holders with ambient lighting down there to shine at nighttime. A little, you know, color and living color. Your key right there, like I said earlier, you got a two-click there for the power tailgate. Two-click there for the remote start, a horn button if anybody's bothering you. You know those panhandlers out there wanting $5 out there outside of Chuck E. Cheese. You click that and you can pull a key out of there as well if you need to. Very nice. That's a big center console. I mean, that's a lot of room right there to write a check right here today to Ravenel Ford for this truck. More cup holders. It does have a lock on it right here, so you can lock this up. In case you got a 9mm, a Glock, a can of mace or pepper spray, or maybe your wallet, your Rolex, your diamond pearl necklaces, whatever you got, it could be in here. You need it locked up. You can do that. You can take that out. You got a lot of storage space. There's a 12 volt. There is no light in there, so you'll need to take that light on your phone and do that. Or click these lights up here to see down in that junk drawer so you can find your valuables when you need them at nighttime. 
okay? During daytime, just open up the sunroof, you'll be able to see just fine. Other than that, let's take a quick look at our screen. It's a beautiful screen, by the way. Thank you to Ford for uh, putting that in there. You have your auto engine start stop button here. You can cut that off. Now, that has to be cut off every time you get in the truck if you don't want that feature to work. But if you woke up the, yes, or tomorrow morning and, uh, and you didn't want that feature on but you forgot about it, well, then it's going to automatically be on. So, again, every time you get in your truck, if you don't want the auto engine start stop feature to cut on, you're going to need to come in here and hit that button right there. It's a nice feature, though. It's not going to cause any issues to the motor over the next 10 years. I mean, Ford's got it all figured out. But, again, it's going to help you save on fuel economy and keep the uh you know so we don't start looking like los angeles okay with the smog okay it's going to help you out you do got traction control button here you got home button there and then you got all kinds of little features in here you got your xm Sirius radio connect the phone heated steering wheel button is right there um, i always found that kind of odd you would think they'd put the heating steering wheel button on the steering wheel but it is right here on this screen okay hit apps you can go in there play around with that settings all that general right in there you only get in three languages english spanish and french english espanol french or francais or francais <laughs> anyways my last name's french uh temperature well just celsius getting fahrenheit okay touchscreen beeps there's all kinds of stuff you can do in here okay so there is that Let's go back out of there. Now, you might be wondering right now about cameras, right? You got nav, you got all the stuff you want, your phone, climate control. I mean, again, there's all those climate controls. There's your audio controls right there. So you got all that going on, but let's see what's going on with our camera. Put it in reverse. There's your camera view, looking great. It's got a little picture of a truck, so it's got to show those sensors on the back if you're getting too close to something. And the guidelines do move with you when you're turning your steering wheel. See what I'm talking about? They help you kind of line up and get right into that parking spot. So pretty sweet. I'm liking that. Now, when you there is higher trim levels of this truck. Let's say you go with a Platinum or a King Ranch. You might be able to get a camera in the front. You might get cameras on your mirrors, all that kind of stuff. There'll be a camera button up here you can click it and you can see the camera view right while you're sitting in the truck like we are right now but on this one you just got the one camera view you do have a 110 volt 400 watt max outlet a 12 volt right there that light should be on when you got something plugged in glove box pretty big some trucks will have a little itty bitty glove box there not on here soft touch so your forehead hits it in a wreck, it doesn't hurt as bad as it would be hitting that hard plastic. That would probably hurt you pretty good right there. Okay, other than that, what else we got going on? Well, you got storage here. You got sunglass holders, home link, mirrors with lights, and they're pretty white LED lights. Ford finally did what I asked. Nice. Over here, looking good. You got this. Keep that debris out, make that funny sound go away. And, um... I think that's about it for the front. We've talked about some hiding spots for the key. There was a little hiding spot they used to have on the truck. It's not around anymore, just so you know, okay? Um, some people think it's under here. It's not, okay? There's no more hiding spot in this particular truck, just so you know. Again, you go on my channel, Charles Car Videos, type in Ford F-150 key hiding spot or hiding spot. You'll see there was a hiding spot down here that you could pull up and you could hide your key right there. It really wasn't a hiding spot. It was more of a spot for the technicians to put the key in and to be able to, um, you know, program the keys up to the car. It's not on this particular truck, though. Some say it is, but it's not. You'd have to find a truck that's got this here where it's an open space and your column shifter is going on. Then you got it. All right, anyways, Chad knows what he's talking about, folks. Just take my word on it. Let's go take a look in the back of the truck and see how the leg and headroom is. I know that's always important to each and every one of y'all that are watching today. So, first off, there's a lot of leg room in the back. Voila. Map, tablet, iPad holders. Leather seats, very nice. Rear air vents, very nice. Two USB ports. 110 volt, 400 watt max outlet, rear heated seats, 12 volt, another air vent, another map holder. Do you have cup holders in the armrest? Yes, you do, and guess what? You actually got an armrest holder instead of a cup holder, okay? They don't call this a cup rest. They call it an armrest. Chevy likes to put cup holders right here. Shame on you, Chevrolet. 
Ford did it the right way, right there. Yes, I like it. That's the little things again that Chevy doesn't do that Ford does. You have LED lights up top. You got your handles on your B pillars. I think that's a B pillar or is that a B pillar? I think that's an A pillar up top, B pillar, C pillar. <laughs> or a caterpillar. Anyways, very nice. Let's hop in just real quickly, show you the leg and headroom. Kind of knock my feet off, got a little dirt on them. Don't want to mess up these pretty black carpets. And look at all the leg room. Again, I'm six foot one. If I was six five, I'd still have plenty of room. Seven foot might be a little pushing it, but six five, there you go. There's not too many guys out there that are over six five. I mean, again, average guy is five eight to six two. This is where we're at. Thank you, I'm average. Am I really average? Yeah, I'm average. All right, anyways, how's the headroom? Good to go, plenty of headroom. <laughs> I'm comfortable, headroom. Head banger. All right, we're good to go. Always having fun, always having fun. Yep, and put your sport jacket right there before you go on a date. Then you let your little girlfriend know, hey, I can be, I can, you know, I can be that, I can be that Harvard or Yale boy that you've been thinking about. I can wear a sport jacket too, you know. It's not always, uh, you know, boots and jeans and uh, flannel shirts. I can wear a sport jacket. All right, the ladies like the guys with the beards and the flannel jackets. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's the thing right now. That's why I got me a beard. But anyways, all right. Very comfortable. I hope you enjoyed what we were seeing today. I hope you had a laugh. And I hope that you come and test drive a new Ford F-150 diesel. If so, stop by and see us at Ravenel Ford. Visit us online at ravenelford.com. Don't hesitate to give us a call. Send us an email.